I sat down, I didn't know who you were. I knew nothing about you. I didn't even know the land you're from, although my forefathers knew it. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. But I heard this from the Lord. He said, you Scots have worn many kilts and you've slung many swords. And they've been called broadswords. But my sword is broader than all the broadswords put together. And I will cut down the enemy for the victory of Scotland. Yeah. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Yeah. Hallelujah. Thank you ever so much. It's an honor to be here. It's always an honor to be here. But what I'm going to bring to you this morning, I hope it will stretch your faith. I hope it'll stretch your imagination because if you don't have an imagination, you can't go anywhere. And I just, I just want to encourage you because this is what the Lord has spoke to me. Ten years ago, I had an encounter with God. Ten years ago, he, Jesus walked into the living room of my house while watching an old movie called Elizabeth and Essex. And the movie went off. My husband fell out in the spirit, and Jesus stood in front of me, dripping with oil all over the living room floor. I was angry because it was brand new carpet. <laughs> and the Lord spoke to me. He said, Teresa, do you love me? And I said, yes, Lord, I love you. He said, but do you love my kingdom more? I could not answer him. He said, Teresa, do you love me? And I said, yes, Lord, I love you. He said, but do you love my kingdom more? I refused to answer him. The third time, I'm beginning to think the scripture, do you love me? Yes, Lord. And he, I said, yes, Lord, I love you. And I'm crying, and I'm trying to get my husband to come out of the spirit because he's out on the floor. He said, Teresa, do you love my kingdom more? And he's looking directly into my eyes. And I'm scared because my first thing is I rebuke you, devil, because this can't be God walking into my house. And he said, Teresa, what was the statement that was said in that movie? And the statement in the movie was, Robin, I love you, but I love England more. And that was when he walked in the house. I said, yes, God, I love your son, Jesus, and I love your kingdom so much more. I love you, Jesus, and I love your kingdom so much more. Jesus looked at me, lifted up my chin with his hand, pointed my face toward heaven, and he said, Father, we have an ambassador, for I am the kingdom, the power, and the glory. Send her. Amen. And he left. I didn't know what to make of that. My husband comes up out of the spirit, and from that moment on, I was completely transformed about the ministry of the kingdom and the things that God wants to do in the kingdom. And so we are living, and I'm just going to give this word. It's not a very long word. It's got a lot of pages, but it's a size 18 font. So don't panic. <laughs> don't panic. But this word really is a now word, but it's a now word for a decade. And you've known me a long time, Dr. James. I've never done anything for over a period of time. But God gave me this word, and he started it that night 10 years ago. I've seen many visions, and I've heard many words concerning the future. But we are in a divine time of the Almighty. Often I'm hearing from many of the prophetic voices that this is the year of proclamation. This is the year of the word. This is the year of releasing. I'm hearing a word. I'm hearing the word focus intently on a word I'm about to give you that is foreign to the American church. It's foreign to the American church because we do not know how to submit. We do not understand a lot of things because our DNA is rebellious. Americans are rebellious. And that's a good thing in one way and not so good in the kingdom. I heard the word focus intently on one word, the royal priesthood. In Revelations chapter 1, 6, 6, it says, And formed unto us a kingdom as his subjects, priests to his God and Father, to him to be the glory and the power and majesty and dominion forever and ever. Amen. 
In essence, it simply means to reign and rule with God, not for God, not by God, but with God because of the intimacy and the trust that comes from God. This is a dynamic that many have not tapped into. Fear, other denominations, expectations, fears of titles, meaning due to the inconsistency of the value of the title. Title literally means to show great respect, reverence, and official position, or a professional or academic qualification. In other words, a title means honor. The reality is that the dynamic should shift to the entire body, spirit-filled believers into the possible, unpredictable change. And I heard the word say it was time for priestly ambassadors, divinely appointed and commissioned. In 1 Peter 2, 9, but you are a chosen race, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a people for God's own possession so that you may proclaim the excellencies of him who has called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. This is a form, this is from the word of our great high priest named Jesus. Amen. These priestly men and women will begin to emerge into four major spheres of governing influence in our current society worldwide. The key here will always be the word access. For these influencers are worldwide, and God's focus and favor are upon these four governances of access that God is releasing. Number one, the family. In Galatians chapter 6, verse 10, as we have therefore opportunity, let us do good unto all men, especially unto them who are of the household of faith. Deuteronomy 6, verses 6 and 7. And these words that I command you today shall be on your heart. You shall teach them diligently to your children, and you shall talk of them and sit in your house, and when you walk by the way, and when you lie down, and when you arise. The action of the priest, biblically, is to be required as an act, to act as a mediator, as one who represents the divine, being his subjects in the return, and in return, form them into being that for God. The priest acts as an ambassador, a chosen vessel through whom the Almighty has chosen to serve and represent him on his behalf. Men and women are coming forth for family and God. Men are coming forth and are going to rise up more genuine fathers and they will emerge strong over the next 10 years. This will include spiritual fathers in the church for the homes where the male priest is no longer present. Amen. Number two, the business sector. The Almighty will begin to place priestly counsel into the financial influencers of societies. These will become ambassadorial roles of the kingdom, precisely advising for the benefit of all the people. Plus, bearing in mind, man must be reconciled at all times to Christ. As priests, we are to understand the sphere of business and begin to see strategies emerge, emerge for the business sector to achieve this success that will divinely inspire even the unsaved to have a moral conscience, even hungering for God's presence in their own lives. The priests will have humble hearts, for they have paid a price. They have given their all for the call to administer the holy writ to the highest and smallest businesses in the land. Number three, the course of education. There will be a focus on training and equipping, and most of all, making disciples. The priestly office will humbly inspire the fivefold ministry to carefully carry out their great commission. In Ephesians chapter 4, 11 through 16, he gave the apostles, prophets, evangelists, shepherds, teachers to equip the saints for the work of the ministry, for building up the body of Christ, meaning in the anointing, until they all attain the unity of faith and the knowledge of the Son of God to mature manhood to the measure and stature of the fullness of Christ. 
so that we may no longer be as children tossed to and fro by the waves that carry out every wind and doctrine by human cunning and craftiness in deceitful schemes. Rather, speaking the truth in love, we are to grow up in every way unto him who is the head and to Christ, whom, from whom the whole body joined held together by every joint from which is equipped when each part is working properly, makes the whole body grow so it builds itself up in love. The priestly office must continue humbly the reformation of the fivefold ministry. Amen. In Isaiah chapter 61, verse 6, it says, But you shall be called priests of the Lord. You will be spoken of as ministers of our God, and you will eat the wealth of the nations. And in their riches you shall boast. Amen. The fourth role that is about to come forth in the priestly ambassador role is going to be the role of government. The role of government, again, worldwide, will have a focus of mass confusion. Many leaders will secretly and openly call for clerical assistance. They will say what is on God, what God is saying. Some will be good and some will be bad. But know my word, so you will know the good, says the Lord. The Lord will send men and women in these spheres to administrate strategies beyond success, but eternity shall invade time. Matthew 24, verse 6, it says, You will hear of wars and rumors and wars, but see to it that you are not ashamed, for such things must happen, for the end is yet, not yet come. Fear not, says the Lord. I am sending holy, royal, priestly anointings and offices into the lands, and they will use them willfully. Yes, dear ones, I have set an order of a kingdom of priests whose words will not fall to the ground. My spirit is speaking. Will they listen? Will they say... The Lord is for them. Will they call for the priest? Will they call for the ambassador? Will they call for the mentor? But they need to call for the deliverer. Yeah. To speak privately and some openly. Some good news and some not good news. But know what my written word, written word says, says the Lord. Do not be deceived. For I will not be mocked, says Galatians chapter 6 verse 7. Remember, priests and kings in the land, the people need guidance, says the Lord. Out of Malachi chapter 2, verse 7, For the lips of the priest should guard knowledge, and people should seek instruction from his mouth. For he is the messenger of the Lord of hosts. Almighty. Amen. 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 That's a good word. Bless all of you. Become yeah. a kingdom of priests. Yeah. Thank you.